Major Domo, the man in charge of the Joffrey Ballet, and you must have your hands full. <laughs> oh, huh? both hands full. Full, full, full. Yeah, I don't know. How are you supposed to do all this? You're supposed to run the company. You're supposed to be a, its creative god. You're supposed to make the books balance. You're supposed to raise money, I, I'm sure. I'm yes, sure. yes. Um, I mean, this is the age in which the arts struggle against inflation and rising prices against uh, new controversy in uh, government funding. I see uh, on your sweater here, save the NEA, the National Endowment mm, of the Arts. Yes, let's save it. I, I won't say that's a surprising posture for you to take, but you are literally wearing it on your chest. Yes. Um, how, do, how do you manage this in the 1990s? Well, I think, I think a ballet company is like a nation. It's like the President of the United States. I think uh, uh, the new artistic director, which I am, having uh, uh, earned my um, position uh, through, the, through Bob Joffrey's death and through the years of my association, but I think a great artistic director today, and I, I address this to all the young, uh, aspiring young men in the arts, must be one who must surround himself like a great president with with a fine cabinet of supporters people who think people who are he must be uh he must be a man who can uh have his the best assistant which i have like in and 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 his 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 board he must see too that he has a creative imaginative board a board of a businessman who not only are businessmen but Except the art, the art as a business as mm -hmm. well. Well, now you you just uh, survived and came through a bit of a battle with your board, came out through it with the license to go on and, and be the artistic director and the functioning head of the of the thing. I mean, tell me about that. Is that inevitable in this day and age? I don't think it's inevitable. I think I think rather than a battle, I think it was an enlightenment. I think it's a time for heroes. And I think when I stood up and, 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 and made my, my say... And said I, at one point, I said at you'll one point, have neither me nor my works nor those of uh, Bob Joffrey. Yes, but that was only a part of my statement. My statement was that the, the artist in our society today, his artistic integrity, his, his life in which he dedicates himself to his people and his time and place must never be threatened by a monetary issue. It's a nonprofit organization. It was when I when I when I made my statement. It was not only for for the fact that that my works belong to me. Mm -hmm. That was uh, each of the artists' works are his, uh, and regardless of who supports it. They are still the art. They belong to the artist. Mm -hmm. But I was making a statement for all artists in, in in my country and throughout the world that the artist must never, at any point in his lifetime ever be uh, sacrificed or dictated to in a sense that he could be stripped of his powers to create to 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 think in in in, in the light of his his own imagination and therefore that was what i was i was don't, standing up don't for. you think the artist uh, today in america is being threatened uh, uh with at least censorship if not uh, uh other financial pressures through the debates that we see going on yes. about federal funding, should there be federal funding, and should there be federal funding for the more controversial? Um, what's your position? Should my position, my position unrestricted? is unrestricted. Uh, your... The wall has come down in, in 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 Europe. I have been to Europe. I have been to the countries where censorship has 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 dominated. I have seen when I was in Russia, in India, in Damascus, in all these places where they look to America as the free climate in which to create. We are the here, we to the, to the rest of the world. That's why men sacrifice their lives to, to defect. That's why I went to war, to stand up for the, the rights. You may not agree with what I have to say, but I must have the right to say it. Those barriers that you've referred to in Europe have come down and come down dramatically in the last, in Eastern Europe, in the Eastern Bloc certainly, have come down in the last year, are they going up in the United States? Yes, definitely. Why? They're definitely going up. Why? I think we've become uh, immoral in the sense that we've become a monetary people. We've become a people in which we think that the 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 um, where the buck stops is what it's about, and it is not. It is the buck is to produce, to become a productive people, to challenge, and that's why I think. 
uh, even in my own, in, in my own um, confrontation, I think it's going to be an enlightenment. There's a new board for me. There's a new challenge. And out of it is going to come uh, a new excitement, a new support for the arts. That is what Arpino did. Arpino stood up and said, no, I will lose everything, but I will not lose my artistic territory. I will stand for what the artist in this country is about. It's a time for, for the vo uh, a voice of, of a man to say, take everything away, but you cannot have my work, you cannot have my artistic integrity. And in that sense, I think it, it opened the consciousness of great men who have supported us. I mean, great men uh, and great, uh, great men and women, you know, uh, my board, you know, uh, Murdoch, Mr. Murdoch, Mr. David Bliss, Murdoch, yeah. David Murdoch, mm -hmm. Mr. Bliss, all these wonderful men who have been supports, I think they will look at it, they will look at Arpino, they will look at the mm -hmm. Joffrey in a different light. So will corporations, so will, they must look at the well, artists. They will. Let's look at, uh, let's, uh, we can take one more quick look at the, at the Joffrey at work. We have a bit of tape of oh, that. Beautiful. So let's, let's have a look at it and see it. <laughs> well, now that's an American boy who was trained by Robert Joffrey and myself from my school, who now heads the company in, 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 in Frankfurt. He's become one of the, the choreographer. leading choreographers, William Forsythe from Connecticut. And uh, there you saw, you saw Love Songs, which is uh, an adaptation of, with uh, uh, Aretha Franklin singing. Mm -hmm. And so it's another, another concept of what the Joffrey does in the sense that in the company we bring all the american choreographers american music that's what makes it different from all the other ballet companies we used to carry our own rock band well it's certainly the range yeah the range. clear from that right and the first yeah. live rock in russia was done by the joffrey so you've given us a lot um you you've got more to give us and we look forward to it oh terry so thank you for coming in and talking about it. thank you very Real much Arpina. thank you stay with us we'll be back after a short break